What's going on here with Nate 8 This is Smart EQ2, and I want to give my honest opinion and review of this plugin and go through some of the audio examples with you as well so you can hear what it does. Um, this plugin is an interesting plugin and it works behind the scenes with an algorithm of AI technology to get EQ curves or I guess tonal qualities to a mix that is more pleasing to the ear. How does it work? I guess behind the scenes, like I said, it uses AI. Um, on this side of the plugin though, when you first load it up, this is what you'll see. So if you wanna get also to the audio example, um, skip down below, it'll give you a little timestamp that you can click on and you'll get straight to the audio there. Um, let's go through some of the quick setup though of what this does and how it works. So when you open it, you'll see this kind of GUI here. So this is the plugin screen. Uh, it's quite nice when you look at it, it's pleasing to the eye. Uh, the other benefit as well is you can actually adjust or um, you know adjust the size of it so it fits your screen or whatever. Um, that is really handy. I like that when plugins do that and um, you can see all of these EQ bands here so it's you could use it as a standard EQ if you wanted to um, otherwise you can use it as a smart EQ and a standard EQ uh, either in mid side or side mode uh, so mid and side is basically the mono and the, the stereo so the sides I should say uh, so all the side things being reverb and stuff like that, that sits on the side or in stereo which is the entire mix so have a listen to this plugin see what it does on the mix and uh, see for yourself if it would help you in getting uh, your mix is set where they need to be a lot quicker. I feel like this is what this has really helped me do um, and it's beneficial in that regard. So let's go. Alright, awesome. So as you can see on the screen there, it's used this little button here which you press record. It's pretty much analyzing the track for I think a few seconds or so and then it analyzes it and pulls up a curvature of what you want or what it thinks it should be listening to and then gives either reducing or increasing frequency curves on that. This thing here which is called the strength button or the dial I should say, uh, you're allowed to either pull that up or down. So you can adjust either up or down what would what it would do is increase so it increases some of the curvatures there so if you're reducing the strength of the mids um, you're getting more on the low end and then vice versa when you're increasing it you're getting less on the low end and more in the mids and the top top to mids sort of area the other thing there as well is that um, with this eq you can use it in you can solo it you can use mid side mode and adjust the the frequencies by that so if you change this it goes to the mids um, which is the mono channel if you change that it goes to the stereo so the sides i should say um, and then you put it in full stereo so it allows you to adjust the eq as you can see from there so this eq and also smart eq i should say because it serves as two purposes you can use it as a standard eq so you're allowed to adjust the filters here so you've got all those filters that you're able to use and then you can activate it or deactivate it by clicking on that and then secondly you can use this smart eq section here um, you can also put the the strength so sorry the width on it i should say so that adjusts the actual width it allows you to then go for the full mix or a section of the mix um, i tend to just go with whatever sounds good that's really what eq is about um, as far as making the mix or a master or even just single track sound better, I really feel like this plugin does a great job of that. In my opinion, it seems to get the right frequencies pretty much every single time just by move, moving this around depending on what you want to sit in there or not it definitely gets you kind of where you want to be a whole lot quicker than if you're just EQing it on your own and trying to work out those frequencies it's definitely something I think that's worth looking at as far as the plugin if you're trying to get a plugin to help you with your workflow speed up your workflow and get you to where you want to be a whole lot quicker I think these type of plugins are definitely going to be more of what we're going to see in the future using AI I don't necessarily think that you know if you're sending a track to something like maybe a lander i'm not saying that that's bad, bad or anything but if you're sending a track to let somebody else work on it and then you don't have any way of adjusting things that's when i think ai is bad um, but as far as using ai to adjust things tonality for you and then working with that i think that can be really beneficial and that's why i think this plugin is fantastic i wouldn't 
necessarily always think AI is good, but that's what I, I feel like this plugin can achieve. Um, the other things that you've got here as well, so either just you can obviously bypass the, the plugin. You've got metering here, so you can put the average metering and just turn that on. Um, so it will allow you to, to see the metering that's going on with this. So if you just go pre or both or whatever, um, let me just show you what it does there. So it's allowing me to see what's happening with the averages of both before and after. Um, you can do pre or post as well. So that's handy to have the metering. Sometimes I feel like though, you just shouldn't have anything and just look at the plugin and adjust the stuff as, as you can see it and just listen. Um, that's really beneficial just to hear things because sometimes you get distracted with having metering going on and you feel like something's happening here and it sounds wrong or it sounds right or whatever. But anyway, that's something that it has there as well. You can use profiles which are on this section here. So different profiles for different types of instruments on there. I uh, use standard because I just want to do this on the full master. Um, but yeah, I mean, this plugin is something that I feel like is going to really, we're going to start seeing a whole lot more of the AI type of technology that's out there and available. Um, and it's definitely, I feel like something we should look into rather than shun if it's something that's going to help us get a faster workflow when we're mixing or mastering our tracks. So if you like this review, remember to like, subscribe to the channel and also hit me up, hit me up with any other questions that you have about this. Um, so let's have a listen to what it can do before and after. I'll just mess around with it for a little bit and you guys can check that out. Let's go. So I feel like it's really helped get some clarity in the mix. Um, I, I'm not necessarily settling with these EQ curves. I just want to show you kind of what it can do. Um, so go check it out, see what you think about it. Uh, this plugin is on the Sonable website. So it's made by Sonable, it's called Smart EQ2. I'll include the links below in the description so you can check it out yourself. And like I said, if you like this, subscribe to the channel, uh, hit me up with any comments or below, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.